Hey friends of the channel, today is Monday, April 3rd, and I'm going to give you my best bet today in the MLB, and we move on to day number two of our street challenge, where we try to turn $2 into $32,000. Before we get into all of that real quick, take a second, hit that subscribe button, and smash that like button, as we're coming off another winner yesterday with the Brewers and the Cubs over nine. So, without further ado, let's dive into today's play and our best bet, and we're going to look at the Toronto Blue Jays and the Kansas City Chiefs over eight and a half runs. Both these teams did not start out their 2023 season in good form. Blue Jays dropped two of three in St. Louis and the Royals got swept by the Twins. Today, veteran Jose Barrios will face off against youngster Brady Singer. Barrios coming off one of the worst seasons since entering the majors in 2016. Last year, he had an ERA over five and hitters were hitting nearly 300 off him all year long. His spring training this season wasn't good either as he gave up seven runs in 14 innings and had a whip over 1.5. Now, some of you may argue, hey, Matt, didn't this guy have a winning record last season and wasn't he 2-0 and in spring training? Well, those are facts, but I think it's more attributed to the fact that the Blue Jays' offense is that good. In football, we use the analogy that offense can outscore defense. Well, in the Blue Jays' case, it can. Brady Singer, on the other hand, uh, really can't afford to have his offense outscore his pitching because they do not have a good offense at all. Kansas City. Just because their offense is awful doesn't mean he can't pitch well and maybe the Royals get a win here. Singer, he's 26 years old. He's coming off a good year. He was 10-5 and five with a 3.23 ERA and a 1.14 whip and struck out essentially one batter per inning last season. He also pitched very well this spring and I'm honestly surprised that Lyles and Keller are ahead of him in the Royals rotation this season. What I think we're going to see here tonight is a Blue Jays lineup that we saw more capable of putting up 10 runs like they did in the opener against the Cardinals, face off against a decent pitcher, and have mild success off of Brady Singer. And at the same time, the Royals, who almost started the season going 20 scoreless innings, will find their offense against Berrios, who most likely only has this one last season to prove himself to Major League ball clubs that he can actually still pitch in the majors. So, although Singer has pitched well in two starts in his career versus the Blue Jays. I think this is more of an offensive output tonight with both teams, and this one in turn goes over the eight and a half runs. And that brings us then to our streak challenge where we are trying to turn $2 into $32,000. Will we do it? Probably not, but it's going to be fun to try. Yesterday, we got a winner with TJ Friedel going over one and a half total bases by crushing a home run. That brings us here to day number two. So what is our streak bet today? Well, we're going with George Springer in that same game over one and a half total bases. Springer has started the season five for 16, but five of all five of those hits came on opening day in a Blue Jays 10-9 victory over the Cardinals. In his last two games, he is 0-10, but now he gets to face a Royals team in which he's had 11 hits against them in his last nine games. I feel like tonight he gets back on track after going 0-10 the last two days, gets an extra base hit, or at least two singles in this one. Feel free to join us on this challenge, and who knows, maybe in a two-week span in the MLB season, we will get perfect. Probably not, but hey. It's going to be fun. Just a reminder before we sign off, we are live streaming the Guardians in the Athletics tonight at 9.30 p.m. Eastern with first pitch at 9.40 p.m. Eastern. Now, be sure in the meantime, sit back, relax, enjoy the start of your week on this Monday morning, and we will see you soon for some Guardians baseball.